Hey folks, Big Drew here. Uh, I'm going to show you my quick and easy pizza recipe. I've got uh, gourmet pepperoni. I've got a provolone and mozzarella mix. Sweet Italian sausage. My favorite Newman's own saccharini sauce. And the market that I go to has these uh, pita breads already ready to go for pizzas. And I want to make a plug for where I go. It's called Wyland's Gourmet Market. It's located in Columbus. And it's where I go for all of my uh, gourmet uh, meats, cheeses, and etc. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to set this up and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, we have some sweet Italian sausage here. Get it broken up and we'll get it cooked. And this is going to go on the pizza. Okay, I'll be right back when this is all cooked. Stand by. Okay, the sausage is about done. I'm going to put it over here into this um, paper towel lined bowl to try to soak up some of the extra grease because we don't need that, do we? Okay, now let's do our assembly. I start with a piece of this pita bread. Put a little bit of sauce on there. Newman's own saccharini. I'm telling you, this is what you want to use. Now, incidentally, I do make a real pizza with real dough and I make my own sauce. This is my quick and easy pizza recipe for when you're tired and you just want to eat. All right, so we're going to put the uh, sauce around. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you get it spread around a little bit. Okay. Then we're going to grab a handful of the provolone mozzarella mix, push, it, put it in the middle, and then shove it around to the outside. And you don't want to put too, man, too much on yet, okay? Then we're going to grab our pepperoni. And we're going to put our pepperoni on the pizza. There we go. I think that looks good. Now let's grab a handful of the sausage. And I did let it cool down. So we're just going to put some of that sausage on there. And we're going to let it roll where it wants to roll. There we go. I think that looks good. Oop, that little piece of pepperoni tried to make a break for it there, didn't it? Okay. Now we're going to put on just a little bit more cheese on top. Okay, I'm going to put this one over here. And we're going to make another one. There's our sauce. And, you know, incidentally, you guys can put on as much or as little sauce as you want. I like to put it on kind of thin. Okay, here's our provolone mozzarella mix in the middle. Press it around to the outside. Pepperoni. And, you know, you guys can put anything you want on here. Mushrooms onions, whatever you want. I prefer sausage and pepperoni. Okay, now we're going to put on our sausage. And our last little bit of cheese. Okay, now we're going to put them in the oven. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and I'm going to put it right here on the rack. 
That way the bottom will get nice and crispy. Okay, now I'm going to set the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, the timer just went off. Let's take a look. Okay, they're looking good, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the broiler on for a second. Try to crisp up the top a little bit. Okay, should be another couple minutes. Okay, you can see the the uh, broilers on and they're starting to sizzle and starting to bubble. Should be another minute or so. Okay, they're about ready. Let's go ahead and turn the oven off. Now, incidentally, you may have noticed I did not use a cookie sheet underneath the pita or on the lower rack. The reason being is because you want to get the bottom nice and crispy. And over time, I realized that if you put it on a cookie sheet, the bottom just it just won't get crispy enough. So I do it this way. So what I'm going to do is just carefully slide it out. Once down the middle, and then three. Who needs a spatula, right? All right, we'll set this one over here, and we'll go retrieve the second one. One down the middle, and then three. Whoops. There we go. All right. Okay, give me a second. We'll go plate these on the table and we'll be right back. Okay, here we go with the table all plated up and ready to go. Got my ice water. And I hope you guys try this recipe at home. It's quick and easy. It only takes about 10 or 12 minutes. Okay, this is Drew signing off. Everybody have a good evening now.